tell everybody, uh, my name is Demarcus Mitchell. Yeah, I just want to do a quick little f- review of a product that's um starting to get more. F- it's been the organ world for like years now, but with everything going how it is, digital live streaming and stuff, air um in the sound world where I both reside in the musician and organ world where I both reside at. Oh, uh, it's always how can we get sound. To best quality of sound from instruments and people and microphones and everything and then put it to live stream we figured out how to do it a venue and when i was figuring out and we're perfect kind of perfected how to do it with live streams and especially now with COVID 19 everybody's kind of stuck at home and can't uh go to church or concerts and stuff a whole lot of live streams come up and everybody's trying to get good quality live streams well for in the organ world, it's kind of hard because our instrument, it doesn't have like a line out like of keyboards, guitars. We're like in the electronic drum sets. We're more in the acoustic instrument area. Even though we have a digital instrument, electronics and stuff, unless you have some of the new organs that's digital and all and everything, the old Hammond organs, they have to be mic'd up like a, a, a acoustic drum set. So, um, uh, one of the ways that people are, that we're getting, if it ain't digital, it has a line out. And then even then, the simulator of the effect, the sound that we want, we want out of the tone wheel organs, is still not there. And so it's like, okay, because we're so used to going from the organ to the speaker. And unless the speaker itself is mic'd, doing a line out straight from the instrument is not going to give us that sound because we want a sound. It's a certain, like, the sound we want can only be made by one type of speaker. It's called the Leslie speaker. And that's the project I kind of, the project I have kind of simulates that sound. Oh, uh, what is a Leslie speaker? A Leslie speaker is, if you ever look at an organ, you always know it's like a Hammond organ, not a pipe organ or a house organ, but it has to be a Hammond. If you know it's, look around it, you always see a big kind of box kind of beside it. That box itself is known as less a Leslie speaker. If you've ever seen one of these boxes around the organ, and this, for example, this the organ that I have. If I can get the shot right, see that little box that's right beside it. Oh, uh, and let me show you. This is in fact the fact the exact speaker I have for my organ here. A Leslie 8 no, it's Leslie 412. That's what it's called. Uh, and my organ that I'm using is a, that's in front of me now is a Hammond B3000. Uh, I already know the organ critics out there saying, but that's one of the worst organs ever. Just when they everybody when they start making tone wheel organs and stuff, everybody got used to the sound tone wheels made, tone wheel organs made. So when they try to go digital, this one of the first models they tr- the Hammond company tried to create digitally, and it didn't work out that well. It doesn't sound like a tone wheel organ. Even the new kind of digital, they close to it, but don't sound to have the exact same grit and aggression and warmth as the tone wheel. But we're trying to get over that. And we're trying to make it more flexible now port these new digital organs you can take them to gigs and stuff you ain't got to worry about taking the big old console with you and take and it's more easily portable uh a little bit cheaper depending on where you're buying it from uh and just for for the flexibility and the midi controls and things that you can do with these digital recreations that you can't do with a tone wheel but some tone wheels that have the ability to have an interface kind of thing put in that you can run it to what I'm going to show you in a few seconds. But back to the le- this Leslie speaker. What m- why is this speaker so important? Well, well, here's why. In this said speaker, there's two, three compartments. A top, middle, and the bottom. And the bottom and top compartments is where the sound is coming from. And what makes the sound of this speaker so special is that on the inside of the speaker, it has rotating parts. 
that top up there where you see the horns at, that's for your treble. And the bottom rotor down there, that white part that's moving, that's your bass rotor. And that's where all your s the sub is. Plus the middle compartment, as you can see, has the subwoofer facing down, firing to the rotor, and the uh, driver that's facing into the horns. And if you want to see what that kind of looks like in real life, that's the horn part up here. Uh, and so the man that created this speaker, Don Leslie, he was an organist and he played theater organ. And when he bought the Hammond organ, he didn't like it because it had a dead sound. And what you mean by dead sound? I'm going to play a little bit of this organ for you to just show you what this dead sound was. And the new, when Don created this speaker, the organ had the dead sound. Like if I did just to hold these notes, after a while, you, even if I'm playing a whole bunch of different stuff, that sound would just get so boring to you that you would kind of just like, I don't want to hear that no more. So, um, Don Leslie went and heard he didn't like the sound because it sounds so dull. Wanted to find, like, wanted to figure out then what makes the these pipe organs and theater organs and just, you know, make them sound, you know, not so dull. And he figured out it was air. The fact that there's air pushing through the pipes and it's change, it has, it's ch changes throughout. Then the other organs, it's whatever sound they're coming from, it's coming from like a world world. So he created a speaker that had this tremolo, these fast moving parts that would spin and give you that tremble or world sound that you was looking for. And then the guy that made the organ, Hammond, didn't like those speakers. And so later on, he tried to, he made his own little thing of the, of tremolo, which is called bravado. And here's what that sounds like. So this without bravado. This with bravado. So um, he made that to kind of go. Because he didn't like these speakers, the guy that made the organ, Lauren Hammond, didn't Lauren Hammond didn't like these speakers, and so he made that to go. But it wasn't the same sound. You had to have the speaker to have the sound. And so, over time, the marriage between the Hammond organ and the Leslie speaker just grew to the point to today that it's just that's just the common thing with Hammond organs. And all organists want that. No matter if you're playing on a digital, like there's so many clone, we call them clone organs by Roland, uh, maybe some by Yamaha, Kumar, uh, some other companies, diverse, diversity organs. But there's so many clones of them, but still you just can't get that sound of a real actual Hammond. And then even the Hammond B digital organs. You still can't get that sound of like the old tone wheel B3, C3s, A100 sounds. A, uh, so many other models, CVs, B3s that you can just add on to make it almost like a B3. But it's the s but you can't get that same sound as those organs, as those old original tone wheel organs. And so, and one of the sounds are trying is trying to recreate this speaker. So many instruments, keyboards, and stuff pedals that try to recreate this speaker sound for like line instruments quarter inch inst quarter inch jack instruments like a keyboard a guitar 
But, you know, nobody really has made it up to until a couple of years ago when a company called Neo Ventilator came out. And they made this. This this the old model. They have a new update model now, but this is the Neo Ventilator. And what this does, it compresses that, that box into this so you can plug keyboards in, guitars, anything. And it will make it run to like it's run to that same box. And this is good for broadcasting because it also, you can, r not only can you just run to a speaker, you can run to your mixer, whatever. And if you have, like, some churches pay, f like, these top of line sound systems. We got, but you got to still mic your organ to go through it. Well, with this, you can get uh, somebody to go, p either if you have a tone wheel organ, you can get somebody to put a line out, adapter interface onto it, and you can run from that line out to this box. And it will uh, take, like, it's just run through that same speaker and put it through, like, a channel, like a keyboard or a guitar. And you can control the volume of it going through your broadcast or coming through the sound system or anything. Uh, or if you got a digital organ or an organ that has a line out, you can run this, run that line out into here. And it'll be just like it's going through that same speaker. So, I've showed you what this organ sounds like without it. So just for a little bit. That's the organ without it, but I'm about to plug in this box real quick. Excuse me if you hear this popping noise real quick. Turn the organ off. And now here's what the organ sounds like with that sound down. And I, I forgot to go through all the all the little different effects that you can do. But you have speed on here. You have there's five knobs on here plus these two little buttons. Speed, the five knobs of speed, acceleration, balance, drive, and distance. So speed, you can choose how fast you want the digital horns and rotors to spin. Um, acceleration is how fast you want it to slow down or you, or you want it to speed up, you know. Because in a real Leslie, the kind of, what makes this effects happen is the horns will speed up fast. Like, an instance but the bottom rotor, rotor takes time to build up speed to get up to that point and it's the same way slowing down the horn instantly slow down but the rotor kind of coasts to a, a slow speed so that's what makes that sp speaker very special and then trying to digitally animate it this company is probably the closest that they've ever come to it and it sounds almost exactly the same uh balance is kind of do you want more high end or low end you got a uh, drive, which is how much grit that's overdrive, what it is, how much grit you want your organ to sound, how dirty you want it to sound. And then distance is like, how, if you was micing it, how f what is the distance you want between the speaker itself and the um, microphones? So I'm just going to play it how I have it set. And yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of the drive out and just, I'm going to play around with these effects and just let you show y'all what it sounds like. Mess with distance now. Balance. 
I play it, there's bypass. So this was what bypass is basically even though you're running through this box, you can skip all these effects and what the box does and just go straight like the normal sound would. That's what this box does. For me, I love it. Because and I wish my speaker. The reason why I bought this box is because my speaker itself has a blown fuse somewhere. And I tr well, I think that may be the problem. But I tried to fix the fuse and replace the fuse. so And that didn't work. So it may be something else. But for some reason, my basically it's not working at the current time. Yeah, I just got tired of playing my, because I do have a line out jack on this organ. I was running through to just straight headphones. I was like, I'm tired of, of this dull sound. So, it was either trying to pay, like, somebody some $600 to come here and work on it and get it fixed. Or go online and try to buy this, because I always want to try these. And it was like, you know what, I'm this the opportunity now to get one try. Because what it also makes, if somebody was to come fix this, it's great, you know. I have my Leslie here. But, um, say, because I do sound and stuff, 
if I go into a church or something that who, that Leslie wasn't working or something just didn't sound right, I couldn't just say, look, I'm just quick to go back home, especially if it's like if I'm on a plane or any tr- plane trip or anything, and I got to fly to the city, it's like, well, I just can't go home and, you know, pick up my Leslie and get it and bring it here. But with this box, you can throw this in a bag or whatever. And when you get to the event, I- if something's wrong, you can just plug this up. If the if the organ itself has a line out, like the di- dish tools, or hopefully, now if it's a tone wheel, hopefully it has a little interface that you can plug a line out. If not, it's kind of just in a bad place. <laughs> but um, if this, you can just throw it in the bag. Plus. Um. Also, why I love this for me, like I said, I'm on B three thousand. Uh, on this organ, the le- when they made it, they put the Leslie switch up here on the top where the draw bars are and the um, vibrato switches. And you know, that's you know for vibrato and everything, that's kind of fine. But for when you constantly or not even count just you know going to hit the Leslie on or something, uh. I hate it trying to reach up here to turn Leslie on because it just, it just didn't, I don't know why, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it at all. So, uh, with with this little box I was able to add on now, when my Leslie was working, there's a foot switch on the volume pedal um, that lets you activate the Leslie's sweet speeds or not. Oh, and maybe I didn't explain that. Um, so the two there are two speeds in the organ, that um fast and slow. But fast is known label has corral. No, fast no label has tremolo, and slow is label has corral. Unless you're on new one of the newer B threes and Hammond organs and stuff, but they have a third setting which is c- stop, which is completely stop the horns rotating or s- switches the organ to the sp- to different speaker stationary speakers in the organ and the Leslie or whatever uh but um I should have explained that first while I was explaining the speaker but here it is now uh but even though it's a little switch on here that on this pedal it suck. it's nothing like you know for me I just like hit, it's something about just moving your arm and just hitting that switch with your hand it just kind of adds to the effect of the awesomeness and of just playing the Hammond organ. It did the little click you hear when you hit the switch. It's just, I like it. <laughs> it's just, so I, I'm a percussionist. So, I like, little sounds like that. And that's one of the things that's playing the Hammond organ I enjoy. The being able to hit the switch and hear the little click of the switch. The keys kind of cl- clatter when you play them. The um, the voltage sounds and everything out of the organ, like you hear that little sound right there. That sound like air. That's the organ voltage. This is saying that it's on, and you know you put it's going to its highest point. <laughs> Thank you. 
being able to play him on having a switch right here. And I'm glad that I have my switch now. And also, if I need to take this on a gear, I can just throw the switch because I have the Velcro to the organ. And I can throw it, throw the switch in the box, just uh, kneel, ventilate in the bag, take it where I need to. And if I'm running through a keyboard, because I also have a keyboard rig with my um, Mac, I can take that. And if I want that, you know, organ sound, that speaker simulation, simulated sound on there, it's almost like a list I can take this and run my speaker through it and my computer through the uh, new ventilator and um, tab it. So that's just one of the good things about it. Uh, like my setup right now from the organ is going to a from the organ is going to the new ventilator. From the new ventilator is going out mono to a direct box from that x that xlr direct box is going to a m audio m track 2x2 interface along with this mic and that is going to the um, macbook so that's how you hear me and everything and hearing the organ itself and it's a good setup and then plus i like this because i can go in garage band now and record this organ through like the interface and do my main effects on there and it sounds good i wish i could actually put it put it, put it in this video yet but i haven't learned this i just got this computer so i'm trying to learn how to use it now but because I can practice my preacher chords now. It sounds so good. this product i love it it if you have a if you're always a traveling musician especially the organist i would suggest that you add this to your toolkit and travel sessions or stuff because you never know what situation you're going into it's better to be prepared and it's better to have and not need than need and not have <laughs> so i would suggest that if you uh, organist or you are a musician just in general producer uh sound company you buy a couple of these or if you're at least with just one musician you buy one of these and just have it on hand because you never know what kind of situation you're going to and you may need this may be what there's a uh some a church i'm working with and they would do well with one of these right now but uh so i'm trying to see if i can suggest that to them they want to do that or not but uh yes i love it i love this little thing it's amazing it, i mean i tell you this i would take this have this around and then put it on any organ and whatever i need or any instrument i need to do they have to have to love this big box up beside me around because this thing is so very heavy <laughs>
But uh, so that is my take on this. I like it. I suggest. I recommend it to anybody that's looking for something. Audio, um, sound guy, sound engineers, organists. If this is you're doing live streaming, and you want to try to get your organ. If you can't have a disc organ or get somebody to uh put this out, then um uh put a line out on your tone wheel organ. You know, I would suggest this. This will help you out your ministry so much. Or uh, what a concert or whatever. Uh, so that's my take on this. I'll hopefully be back with some more videos later on. But for right now, I'm call, calling it a night. I'll see you guys the next time I see you. Please like like this video, favorite it. Uh, what's the YouTube thing that people say? Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, let me know. Also, I'm still learning all about this. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and stuff. If there's anything... Are we gonna have some more videos of vlog or the, like the business stuff, like doing events and stuff? What it's like being a sound engineer and doing events, be, um, musician vlogs, uh, just p and then just p chilling and playing around and stuff, playing video games and stuff. Vlog, so that's gonna be in the channel too soon. So, uh, just put in comments whatever y'all want to see and stuff, and I'll try to make it happen if I can. Y'all be blessed. Have a safe night. I hope I play blessings on all of you. I want it. God works in your life in serious ways. Be safe. Be careful. Social distancing six feet apart. <laughs> Wear a mask. And be safe. God loves you. And I do too. Bye.